If you have a pond in your school grounds or are thinking of digging one to help with your learning or eco schools projects then here's what an expert says about ponds. Hi, my name's John Trail and I work for the Yorkshire Wildlife Trust. I'm the conservation project manager working out in East Yorkshire. We're out here this morning on a beautiful winter's morning and we're looking at ponds. So hopefully you'll see behind me a wonderful farm pond. Farm ponds are really important in the landscape. Obviously East Yorkshire is very rural with lots of farming and a lot of farms have old ponds. This pond we're stood here by this morning is actually a pond that the farmer dug. So he planted this tree area up, this wood of woodland, and he decided it'd be nice to have a pond in here as well. So he dug the pond, and as we arrived this morning, the wildlife that was around the pond has just disappeared. So we actually had some deer down here this morning, and there's been some pheasants, and some other birds. So this pond is really important for wildlife. So pond, farm ponds can be really, really useful across the landscape and if we have lots of ponds all dotted around across the farmland that actually helps wildlife when they move about. But it's not just farm ponds that are important, ponds in urban and suburban areas so around houses are really important or in schools. So a small wildlife pond in a school or in your back garden can be really useful for local wildlife. Things that we all recognise like frogs and toads and newts and dragonflies and diving beetles they're all really really useful species that you can get in a pond so if you've got lots of insect life in your pond that will attract your frogs your frogs will then lay the frog spawn where you get your tadpoles and then they'll change into new frogs so having a small pond doesn't necessarily mean you won't get wildlife 